Hi Nearlyweds, I'm Susan Sutherland, President of Just Marry, and today we're going to discuss how to negotiate a room block for your wedding guests. By the end of this video, you're going to know everything there is to know on how to negotiate special room rates for your wedding attendees. And also, if you stay tuned until the end, I'm going to have some special information for you to be able to get special rates without ever having to negotiate a block. And also, I'll have a handy dandy guide in case you do want to make that room block for your guests. Tip number one, in order to get a special room block rate, you're likely gonna have to reserve at least 10 rooms, so please keep that in mind. Tip number two, sometimes your guests are going to be able to find cheaper rates online. If they're members of large organizations like AAA or they go to some of the big travel websites, it is possible that they will find individual rooms with less expensive rates than the one in your room block. The idea behind the room block is, first of all, it reserves these rooms for your guests. So no matter what's going on at the hotel, even if they get sold out, those 10 rooms are specifically there for you. Tip number three. You may request to have all your rooms close together, but it isn't always possible. Where your rooms are situated largely depends on who's checking into the hotel on the day of that everyone else arrives. So if they have a full house, your guests may not be able to have rooms that are right next to each other. Tip number four, and this is very, very important. There are two different types of room blocks. One is a courtesy block and one is a block with attrition. The courtesy block means that the hotel will hold your hotel rooms, again, we'll use the number 10 for an example, and say until 30 to 45 days out, those hotel rooms are yours. If those rooms don't get blocked, they'll simply, at the deadline date, release the rooms back into their hotel inventory and you're not responsible for anything. The second type of room block contract is one with an attrition clause. Attrition means is that you are contractually responsible to pay for all the rooms that you book. Now, most attrition clauses allow you to have some sort of fall off, so you can pay for 80% or 90% of the rooms. So again, using the number 10, that means if only seven rooms book, then you will have to pay for either the eighth one or the ninth one, depending on your percentage of attrition. I know that sounds really confusing, but it's very important to make sure to read over that contract to make sure you understand whether it's a courtesy block or whether or not you will be financially responsible for any rooms that aren't used. Tip number five, a lot of our couples like to deliver itineraries to their guests staying at the hotels or maybe a little gift bag. Keep in mind that some hotels charge fees for this. Now some hotels will give you an option to just have them handed out at the front desk upon check-in, but if you want the itineraries delivered to the guest rooms or if the hotel requires that, you're likely gonna have some sort of service fee for that. Tip number six, your guests may request a particular type of bed like two queens or two doubles or a king size bed. Again, that's a request that can't always be accommodated by the hotel. It again depends on what's going on the hotel the day that everybody checks in. So be sure their guests put in their request, but please make sure they understand that they're not guaranteed to receive it. Tip number seven, when you negotiate the main night for your contract, make sure to request having your special rate available two days before and two days after the wedding date, just in case some of your guests want to hang out for a while. Be sure to look for that in your contract so that your guests will have that special rate available to them. Well, those are all my tips for successfully planning a wedding room block for your guests. Now, if all of this sounds like too much trouble, you do have a couple of options. Number one, you can hire a travel agent to negotiate your room block for you. And a travel agent gets paid a percentage commission on each of the room blocks. So each of the rooms that book will allow the agent to get paid. So it shouldn't cost you anything. That's a great option. Your second option is you can go to my website, www.justeventsgroup.com slash travel. And we'll put that link below. And there you can sign up to be part of a special booking community where you can find discounted rates for rooms anytime. And you can feel free to share that link. There's no obligation and you don't have to guarantee anything. So it's a really cost effective and easy way to offer room rates to your guests. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed my tips. Don't forget to download below all these tips for you in writing. And if you like this video, be sure to hit the like, give us a comment if you have any questions and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the little bell and you'll get notifications every time we put up a new video. Thanks again for joining us and we'll see you in the next video.